Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Shelly's Kitchen. You know, sometimes you just get a pinch and you need something that you can make fast. You're having family over, or friends over, you need something fast, but you want something delicious. And there are quite a few kind of some no-bake, um, cheesecake kinds of desserts out there. Well, I found one that I absolutely love again um, I will say, you know, this show is about simple, delicious, and healthier. So I try to swap out things to make it healthy. And um, so in its own right, this particular Oreo kind of dessert, no-bake dessert, because it's Oreo cookies, certainly it's going to have more calories. So go on the small side, okay? Um, but some great substitutes. Instead of regular milk, I'm actually using unsweetened almond milk and this will work just fine so this is how fast and simple this thing is the thing that takes the longest is the fact that it has to stay in the refrigerator for an hour to sit there's your timing so um this is um one of the jello versions and so this it really has three main packets um it has a oreo crust crumb that you that you're gonna get i'm gonna put this here and then you're going to simply add melted butter to it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to mix it. Um, and you're going to see just how fast this is. You've got people coming over. You need something fast but delicious. You want them to say, oh my God, that was so good. Here's, here's going to be your lifesaver, okay? So you're just going to mix again kind of this crust with the butter. Um, just mix it up just right and this works out really well in a square you know dish you don't have to put anything on the bottom so we're gonna go on and just pour that mixture into the bottom of the pan like so just gonna spread it Okay, so once you get that, I'm going to actually press it a little bit with my hands just to make sure it kind of sits because I want to be able to like cut it. Okay, so press it down, get it flat, and you should be able to press it like that and it sticks because you've got the butter actually holding it together. Okay, and if you use organic butter, then that's even better. So all those great things. All right, so now that we have the crust, let me actually just kind of rinse my hands here. Now that we have the crust going on, we want to make the filling. And the filling consists of just this, um, no, it says this Jello no bake filling. You pour the filling in, and as I mentioned, what you wanna do is make sure you cut down your calories and all those other things by going with the almond milk, okay? So you're gonna put that together. And you do need to mix this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to mix it pretty fast for 30 seconds. And I'm gonna take a little, let me try to measure on my watch. So let's, let's see how this goes. Now I'm going to mix it for three minutes on medium, okay? So I'm not going to bore you with watching it for three minutes. So the next thing you want to do is mix it for three minutes, okay? All right, so I've mixed it for three minutes. Um, so just think about this. This is one of those pinch crunch time. If you want to make this from scratch, the ingredients are still pretty basic. All you're gonna use are Oreo cookies or Oreo um, type of crust that sometimes they already have it made or you can take the Oreo cookies, you can crush them up yourself, add the butter, press it down. You get the same result. For the pudding, all you have to use is a box of vanilla pudding and you mix it 30 seconds 
and then you um, uh, add it another three minutes. And by the three minutes actually is what gives the pudding the consistency. So you can just buy the vanilla pudding um, in the store if you want to do it like that. So again, you can make it kind of from scratch or you can get the box and voila, there you go. Now, before I put that in there, again, here are just Oreo cookies. We're gonna put, um, some, leave some aside to put on the top and the rest of them we're gonna actually mix in the filling. So I'm gonna just pour this in here and we're gonna mix it up together. Again, same thing you can do if you don't wanna buy the box, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if you're in a pinch and you have to get something that's delicious, but you want it to, to, um, to make it really fast, this is what you can use, okay? Or you can just follow the steps that I mentioned if you wanna make it from scratch. Okay, so now that we've mixed it nicely, all we're gonna do is pour it into our pan here on top of the crust, like so. Again, super easy. You'll see how fast this is. Again, I'm trying to come up with things that are simple for you, delicious. Again, this is not something you're gonna take a big piece of, uh, unless you, you're not counting calories like I am. <laughs> then help yourself eat all that you wanna eat. Okay, so you're just gonna spread this out nicely. Like so. I'm gonna put the remainder of the chocolate, the, the Oreo, cookies on top and then and then also let's say you have to take something to a party again here's just a really really great easy simple and it really is delicious treat um, that you can use all right and we're going to just take the rest of the crumbs and just sprinkle them kind of on top to spread them off um, all over just like so okay and voila we have our treat so all you have to do to complete this dish is put it in the refrigerator you refrigerate it for one hour and then you serve it to your guests so voila there we have it our oreo no no bake um, dessert you can use the box just like I did, or you can just use those simple ingredients of almond milk, little bit of butter, Oreo cookies, and a box of vanilla pudding. All right, take care everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I come out with a, a recipe every other week and uh, love for you to subscribe, hit the like button if this is something that you enjoy. Thanks. Bye-bye.